Capricorn, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I thank you for stopping by today for your March overall energy. This is going to be for the month of March, and this is your overall energy. Angels and Spirit Guides, go ahead and just give me one card for Capricorn for their overall energy, please. Thank you so very much. Let's see what we've got going here. Now, Capricorn, I um, want to go ahead and thank you, and I'm so grateful for all of your love, your support, all your high vibrations um, towards the channel. I really do appreciate it. It makes me, it just makes me feel how truly blessed, know that I'm truly blessed, and I hope that you feel all of that love also coming your way. Now, um, if you are new to Spiritual Wellness Tarot, I welcome you, and thank you for stopping by. If it does go ahead and reading does go ahead and resonate with you, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell so you will get notified next time I put out the next video. All right, and just to let you know, if you are new, I read strictly intuitively, so I do not read reversals. Let's go ahead and let's get this started for you, Capricorn. All right, so for the month of March. We've got that. We've got the Four of Swords, which is, you know, sometimes we just need to retreat, right? You might have had a busy, busy February. You might have had a busy, busy last six months, right? It's time for you to have some recovery time. It's time for you to just lay down and take a rest, right? Um, the Swords are just there to remind you that. You do need to rest, right? You do need to go ahead and take care of yourself so you can go ahead and stay healthy. We've got the hangman here. I love the hangman, right? He, he's going to give you some new ideas. He looks at things in a different perspective. So it might be that you had some challenges in February and, you know, even the last six months, heck, the last couple years, right? You've had some challenges. It's time to look at those challenges in a new perspective, a new view. Sometimes look at it in like an eight-year-old's eyes, right? Because they're so innocent and they come up with sometimes, kids come up with like the most easiest way to, to figure out a situation, right? We as adults, we find the most complicated way, right? To, to come up with a situation. Think of things as, as a child, as, as a new idea. You know, how can I go ahead and take care of this so I don't feel so exhausted, right? So, I, so I'm so i renewed, right? I'm ready to recover from all this stinking stuff that's been going on and move forward. We have the judgment card here. Okay, review and evaluate. Interesting that that came with the hangman, right? Looking for new ideas, looking for a new way to take care of a situation. It's very important to your health to go ahead and look at things from a different from a different way, right? Renew and evaluate. Get some clarity. Uh, you know, it might be a wake up call, and that's what I'm seeing here. It's time for you to have a wake up call, Capricorn. We've got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is free-spirited, right? He's creative. He's he's a fast-moving, he's not the fastest knight, but he's the fast-moving knight. And so he is ready to, to go. He's getting a little restless, right? Sudden events may, may happen. And once you have allowed yourself to retreat, to get some time to yourself, to renew, to think about new ideas, right? To reevaluate your ideas. It is time for you to move forward and put those ideas into action. Nine of Swords is, um, you know, it's, you might have had some nightmares, right? You might have things that aren't working out that way, that the same way. You have some sleepless nights. And I think it's interesting how, how it comes with, um, with the, the Four of Swords, right? Swords are actually, you know, they're, they're very intellectual people. They like to make plans. And if their plans aren't going quite right, sometimes you need to retreat. Sometimes you expect the worst, right? But it's time for you to get out of this pack. It's time for you to stand up for yourself 
and be that adventurous person, right? Go ahead and get some of those new ideas, Capricorn. Oh, this is wonderful. I see a big change for you coming after you. Oh, temperance, okay, balance. Um, once you have allowed yourself the time to rest, the time to relax, you're going to have a great new change, right? You're going to have a great new change. But you have to go ahead and allow yourself, um, you know, to, to relax a little bit and to enjoy life. Oh, nice. Happiness. Yay. All right. The Seven of Swords. Interesting. And the Ten of Cups or the Nine of Cups. Darn. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we've got the Temperance card. Temperance is all about balance, harmony, um, being patient, right? Being patient. And sometimes it takes us a long time to realize what we need to do, right? But we need to look at things in a different perspective so we can become balanced, right? And it might take us a little bit of patience, right? It might take us a little bit of time to sit down and just rest, right? Get, just renew yourself, right? Even if it's just you know, I know it's hard if you're a mom or if you're a dad and you have kids and you work and, and things. But even if you just need to take five or ten minutes to yourself, do it. We've got the Four of Wands, which is all about celebration, happiness, family, right? You've got the, they're ready to walk through this couple. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they just got married or anything. They're just, you know, they could be a business partner and the business has taken off. They've come up with a great idea, right? They reevaluated, they reviewed, and now the idea comes to fruition. The idea comes and brings balance to your life. Beautiful. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is is all about not trusting, right? Wanting to run away from people. And that's where this comes from, right? That's where, th that's where this comes from, along with the nine, right? It comes, it comes together. You're not trusting yourself. Look, he's, he's going to leave two swords, but he's bringing five swords with him. He's just not quite sure um, of what he's, of what he's going to co come into, right? He's running away from, from the camp. He's running away from the, um, the castle, right? And he's going to take his five swords just to hold on to, just in case he has something, he comes up with something, right? But it's time to let go of those swords. It's time to let go of those swords, Capricorn, because now you're going to be the nine of cups. Yes! Your wishes are coming true. You have material abundance. You have good health. And that is because you looked at things at a different way, right? You re-evaluated the situation. So you want to have that Nine of Cups. You want to be happy. You want to move forward. Oh, this is beautiful, Capricorn. I'm so happy for you to get out of that, out of this. I'm so exhausted. I have so many people after me. I don't trust anybody, right? I'm ready for you to be done with the defeat feeling, you know, the... The poor me feeling. I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm sure you are too. Get back to elemental. Interesting, right? Exactly. And that's what the temperance was, right? Get back to go ahead and, um, and be balanced. It's time for you to be balanced. All right. That spark of hustle keeps coming out. Oh, we got three for this one. All right. Well, we'll take all three of them. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with, you know, we're, we're going to look at things from a different perspective. We're going to become balanced. We're going to get back to the elemental. We're going to get back to simplicity. Capricorn, get back to simplicity. Get back to, to just realizing this is how it is, doing a little bit of research so you're not worried, so you're not sleeping and you're feeling defeated, right? It's, it's not good. It's not healthy physically or mentally, um, creator earth which earth is the pentacles so it's time for you to go ahead and start receiving those pentacles once you make your decision once you review and evaluate the you're gonna your wishes are coming true you're gonna go ahead and have that financial security you're gonna go ahead and have that security Okay, so the Knight of Fire and the Seven of Swords, and then we have the Spark of the Hustle. So 
And this is so true, the spark of the hustle. Once you have made your decision, once you have got out of the stinking thinking and you're, you're, you're looking at things in a different perspective, you're re-evaluating, listen to what you have to say, right? Listen to the night, right? Be adventurous, be self-assured, right? Get some action going, make some movement move forward so you can get out of this feeling and you can move forward. Create alchemy. Let's see, your soul shines and light in the unexpected. Beautiful, right? Get out. It's time. It's time to get out of these sores, right? It's it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to not have that, that sinking feeling that, that people are against you. You know, poor me. It's time for you to take a rest and then move forward. Become that knight. Right, become that knight of wands and move forward. Then you're going to have all of the happiness and your wishes coming true, right? You're going to have material abundance. You're going to have health. You're going to have good health. You're going to have security. And know that, that light does come unexpected. Things do come unexpected. And, you know, create yourself. Create what you have coming. You, your soul does shine, Capricorn. Your soul does shine once you have gotten out of this funk. So allow for, allow for decisions to be made, right? Allow for different thinking. Um, if this is regarding, say, a business, um, either you work for somebody or you're self-employed, Maybe write down the pros and cons. What, what are you getting worried about, right? Might be when you go to bed, put a notepad by your, by your bed. If you wake up in the middle of the night, write down your thoughts. And then you can, get, you can go through them in the morning, right? You might be able to, to look, at, look at it from a different light, look at a different perspective, right? But know, Capricorn, that your soul does shine. It is time for you to get out of this feeling and feel alive again, Capricorn. All right. I love you all. Please go ahead and leave a, a comment below and let me know if this resonates with you. I do love you and have a fabulous, fabulous March. Namaste.